So Modern Warfare 2 had an update yesterday that was around 50 gigs on Xbox. Now, no one knows why it was 50 gigs on Xbox, because on PC it was 800 megabytes, and on PlayStation 5, or PlayStation rather, it was only 700 megs. So, I was planning on making a video talking about Modern Warfare 2's Day 1 patch. Now, technically, this is a Day 1 patch, because there was obviously stuff in it that fixed some stuff, well, fixed, quote-unquote and other things um but that still doesn't explain why modern warfare 2 on xbox had 50 a 50 gig update now what i think this update was and one, one speculation and one's just like facts so my speculation is maybe this 50 gig update on xbox went live on xbox first and this 50 gig patch what is a whole entire like UI like overhaul it was a TTK change or overhaul making the TTK slower so the game actually feels like a little bit better um, maybe it has a bunch of weapon patches and weapon balance to make SMGs and assault rifles like nerf significantly because I do think they need a significant nerf but this patch is just locked, and they're waiting to put out another update to unlock that, and then it does the changes. Now that's that's tinfoil hat, that's speculation, and that's like 1,000% not a thing that ever happens. I don't think you can actually, I don't even think you can do that. Or, which this is fact, it's not been proven, but I'm pretty sure this is fact. This 50 gig patch update for Xbox is they gave Xbox players a week early to pre-download season one content and then pc doesn't get it until the night before and playstation will maybe get it a couple days later that is probably what's actually happening uh it, it seems more likely that a 50 gig patch uh is for all the season one content now on top of that modern warfare 2 they stated in their blog post, and we'll go over it here in a second, but they basically stated that there ain't, there isn't going to be any weapon balance added to Modern Warfare 2 until Season 1. So, I think in the next week, depending on how this video goes up, I think this video will go up tomorrow the 5th. I'm recording this on the 4th. But they stated in this blog post that weapon balancing will not come until Season 1's launch, which I think is stupid. I think they should have immediate, immediately, the second the community started complaining about certain guns being broken, they immediately should have just p patched it and made it not broken. That's one thing that I don't like about COD devs is they wait so long to patch, to, to weapon balance. And it's not just because it's Infinity War. This happens with every fucking development company. This happens with such every games. This happens with Treyarch. This happens with IW. There are still guns in Vanguard that have been broken since launch that Sledgehammer Games never patched. The MP40, they never patched it. The STG, they never patched it. Sure, they did some update tweaks to it, but it's still broken. So, yeah. So, let's just get on to the, uh, the patch notes here. So, um, the general updates... Uh, we've addressed a number of uh, crashing affecting players across all platforms, including the bug that caused certain players partied up in-game to crash whenever matchmaking. Last night's update should provide additional stability in terms of crashing. We will continue to monitor live issues, report live issue reports, and provide resolutions as soon as we are available to. We have made general game improvements, including various, uh, fix for various camels not unlocking during progression, fix frame rate drop issues, addressed known freezing issues, overall performance improvements, adding fixes to stuttering and lag issues. On PC, uh, a recent NVIDIA hotfix addressed some critical issues. Please make sure you are running the game on drivers 526.61. The PC benchmark map has been updated with more accurate readings of FPS display. Be sure to follow our friends at Beanox for additional updates from Animal for 2 and PC. Weapons. We are actively collecting weapon performance slash usage data and will provide detailed updates on weapon balancing with the launch of Season 1. I don't like how they have enough data here. That's just telling them that they just don't feel like up putting the patch out for weapon balance until Season 1 comes out next week. Eight days, so a week since Modern Warfare 2 came out. That is enough data to tell you that all the SMGs in the game are broken as fuck. 
the M4, the AUG, the AK platform are busted. The only two assault rifles in the assault rifle category, and I'm sorry I'm bitching a lot, but the Lachman 556 isn't that good. The M16 is absolute dog shit. I ended up getting that gold two days ago, and that was a fucking pain. It was an actual pain to get that shit gold. Here's a little tip for you guys. So if you're grinding the M16 right now, I'd advise you to flip that bitch the single because it does more damage in single than it does in fucking burst. I'm not even I'm not even kidding you. It does more damage single fire than it does in burst fire. Plus you can tap fire it way quicker than you can burst fire it. So there's a little tip for you. Uh Obviously, it's a little bit harder to single tap in close range fights, but medium to long range, just tap, just select fire at the single, you'll, you'll thank me later. Last week, I disabled the attachment tuning feature due to an issue affecting players with four or more tuned attachments equipped at once. We re-enabled the attachment tuning in last night's update, so players should not encounter further issues equipping attachments on weapons. Now, along with this, I feel like, and this could coincide of how and why they disabled attachment tuning but i feel like attachments just don't do anything like i don't know why I, it might just be me i'm going crazy but i don't think attachments do anything like it just feels like it does um and no infinity war just adding recoil to guns does not balance the fucking gun i hate when cod devs do that i'm sorry i'm going on this tangent again but i hate when cod devs go oh we added recoil the gun still the gun still two taps Adding recoil doesn't change anything. Nerf the damage of the gun. That's how you nerf and buff things. You give it damage or you lessen its damage. Right now, all SMGs need to be a three to four. Probably a four to five. I'm sorry. I just, I hate, like for the past couple, probably the last decade, I'm gonna be honest, Call of Duty is nothing but SMG simulator. That's all it is. It's hard to use any other weapon when every SMG in the game is a two-shot. I'm not even joking. As for multiplayer, enemy or live ping will remain disabled in multiplayer until a fix is implemented with the launch of Season 1. This is due to a bug where ping will remain on some players after death. KVM players are currently still able to damage ping. Uh, the player icon in the minimap will no longer disappear after a player is revived or certain mo in certain modes. And then we got maps and playlists. We have added the hotel map into the third-person mosh pit. Uh, there are no significant map changes, but we have patched various exploits and geom geometry bugs in the days since launch. We continue to adjust small fixes throughout daily updates. Go on to talk about uh, their UI and UX system, which a lot of people are bitching about that they hate the UI, but I actually really like the UI. Um, we continue to refine our UI and we'll have more details in Season 1. So it looks like Infinity War is waiting until Season 1 to actually do what the community is asking for, like weapon balance, map changes, UI changes, TTK changes. I don't think they're ever going to change the TTK, I just think IW needs to test it. I know they don't have a like a community test environment server like they do with Battlefield, but I really do think Infinity War, I don't, I, I highly doubt any of the devs will see this video, or anyone from any of the development development teams at uh, Activision. But I implore you to test two things to change the TTK. The first one, just overall slow it down. Again, I don't know how game development works, so I don't know how you slow down a TTK. Slow it down to where it is in Modern Warfare 2019. Modern Warfare 2019 has a perfect time to kill. It is literally perfect. That is why I'm so confused on why this game is so drastically different when it comes to TTK. Slow it down overall. Just test it. Just put it as an update in the game. Test it. Ask the community for feedback if they like it better. And then, have a week of testing for that. Then change it to where everyone has, go back to the original TTK that we have right now, and then add everyone's health 50%. So give everyone else, give everyone in the game rather, 150 health and see if that changes the TTK. Again, it's still the same as we have right now, but everyone just has 50 extra health. Give that a week of testing and ask the community which one they prefer. Modern Warfare 2019's TTK or just giving everyone extra 50 health. Either one is going to help and slow the TTK and make the game feel a lot more fluid. 
Because right now the game feels too fast. Obviously you can still get kills. And you can still run around the map and have fun. But the TTK in my opinion is too fast. And I hate to say this. And I'm never the person to say this. But I feel like. And I know this is another tinfoil hat thing. And I know this is con this might be controversial to say. I don't know. But I feel like if IW doesn't change the TTK of this game. Modern Warfare 2 will lose a lot of players, if not die, quote unquote. Quotes around die. Because people in the community like to label games dead when there's still like 2 million people playing the fucking game. Um, but yeah, if they don't change the TTK, I don't think the game is going to survive two years. It might survive like, I'd say four months, and then people are going to get tired of the TTK and just not play the game anymore. They'll come back when a new season comes out, but... They're just not going to play the game anymore if IW doesn't change the UI. And I, not the UI, the TTK. I love this game to death. This is literally everything I asked for. I had a checklist. If this game feels like Modern Warfare 2019, uses the same engine, has the same gunplay, everything. It checked everything minus the TTK is too fast and the weapon balance. That's about it. Modern Warfare 2019 was perfect. The TTK was perfect. The gunplay was perfect. The engine was perfect. They checked all that minus the TTK. And I think IW needs to change the TTK. And they need to weapon balance the game. Nerf all SMGs. Nerf some of the assault rifles. The only assault rifles, again, I'm going over this again for the fourth time. The only assault rifles that don't need a nerf is the Lockman 5.56 and the M16. If anything, the M16 needs a buff. I don't care if it one burst. I literally don't care if it one burst. Because you can still win a fight if you go up against an M16. Because it's burst. The Lockman 5.56 I think is in a perfect spot. I think it needs maybe like half a damage buff or something if you can even do that. In addition to changes that we've already made, we're also actively tracking, uh, tracking live issues. Some of the known issues as presented include, we are aware of the following issues and fixes are in the works. The Riot Shield and uh, Invincibility glitch uh, if you see anybody with a riot shield, do not call in a VTOL and do not call in a chopper gunner. Just don't call it in. Uh, DDoS field upgrade has a availability bug. A bug affecting helicopter height, which allows them to leave the map in some instances. That's ground war. And then that's all they have for the patch notes that went live yesterday. Again, this will go up the 5th, so two days ago. And then they just say, keep an eye on their Trello board uh, to report bugs and all that type of stuff. And they said they will be back for con uh, a comprehensive note ahead of Season 1. Be sure to follow Infinity Ward on all social challenge cha channels. Jesus. That has been all the patch notes. That's been all the things that they patched for a 700, 800 my uh, megabyte uh, update. Again, the 500 gig update. Uh, 500 gig the 50 gig update on xbox was probably just all season one content and they're just waiting to push out another update to unlock it quote unquote but yeah um i'm excited for season one just solely for the reason that i hope we get some weapon balance i hope they change and tweak ttk no they won't but it's it's a hope and uh yeah without further ado like comment subscribe ding dong notification bell so you guys know when i upload next and uh Let's hope season one is a banger, and uh, see you guys in the next video. This has been Obsessed with Modern Warfare.